Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the Wilds of Arizona collection by Rogue Lacquer, as well as a very late Black Friday duo and their Goonies duo. Um, I'm not sure what's all currently available. I know the Arizona collection's available. I believe the Goonies collection's available. The uh, Black Friday polishes are questionable. But in the description box below, I will link the Rogue site, I will link their Instagram page, and I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. So we do have eight polishes in total to look at, so let's go ahead and get started. So starting with their Wilds of Arizona collection, part two, we have Antelope Canyon, and this is a plummy shade packed with Ultra Chrome Chameleon Flakies. So here's our first coat of Antelope Canyon. This covers pretty well on the first coat. It is a jelly base, so you can still make out your nail line, but as far as jelly bases go, it does cover okay, and then the flakies really help with the coverage. The formula on this is very good, buttery smooth, very easy to work with. So here's our second coat, and this does cover completely in two coats for me. Depending on your application, you may need to go in for a third coat. This one's gonna dry down dull and slightly textured, so you'll want a glossy top coat to finish this off, and or a matte top coat, and nothing in here is difficult to remove or take off. So there is two coats. Up next is Cactus Country, and this is a green base packed with those Ultra Chrome Chameleon Flakies as well as a Linear Hollow. Here's our first coat of Cactus Country, and this one has the same everything as the previous polish, just in a green base. It's a little sheer on the first coat because it's a jelly polish, but those flakies help tremendously with the coverage. The formula on this one is also really good, very smooth, easy to apply, no running or pulling or anything of that sort. Here's our second coat, and this one does, again, cover completely in two coats, but I think this one is more sol solidly a two-coater. This one's also going to dry down dull and slightly textured, so a glossy and or matte top coat would be absolutely beautiful on this. And once again, nothing in here is going to be difficult to remove, but those flakies might make a little bit of a mess, so there is two coats. Up next, we have Snowball, and this is a blue-gray packed with those Ultra Chrome Chameleon Flakies and the Linear Hollow. Here's our first coat of Snow Bowl. And just like the last ones, this one is a little bit sheer on the first coat, but those flakies do help with coverage. I feel like this one is in less of a jelly base and more of like one of those clearish holographic bases. And here's our second coat, and this does cover completely in two coats. Again, pretty solidly, I don't think. You would have to go in for a third coat on this one, but again, you will want a glossy or matte top coat to finish this off just to smooth everything out, make it look nice and cohesive, but nothing in here is difficult to remove. So there's two coats. And lastly, we have Campfire Tails, and this is a super deep charcoal base, again, with those Ultra Chrome Chameleon Flakies and the Linear Hollow. Here's our first coat of Campfire Tails. This one is pretty sheer on this first coat, probably the most sheer of all of them. But again, the formula is good, very smooth, easy to apply, and all of these polishes with the flakies also lie relatively easily, uh, where you don't really have to manipulate the flakies to spread out evenly across the nail. They kind of just do it themselves. Here's our second coat, and this is completely opaque in two coats for me. I could definitely see somebody needing three coats for this one, though. This one, again, will dry down dull, so a glossy or matte top coat to finish this off, and then nothing's going to be difficult to remove, but those flakies, again, might make a little bit of a mess, and there's two coats. So the next four, I'm just going to show the one nail swatches because um, they are limited. I'm not entirely sure that they're available. I've been very sick, so I have not been editing and posting as much as normal. Um, I'm very behind. But up first we have Unicorn Blood, and this is amazing. This is, I believe this is a clear base, um, but it's got a super strong copper shimmer and a linear hollow, and I believe some iridescent flakes as well. So here is our first look at Unicorn Blood. This one is pretty sheer on the first coat. It does build up well. You could use this as a topper. Um, I have not but I really do like how it is built up in three coats. Again, the formula on this is very good, smooth, easy to apply. It does dry down uh, decently glossy on its own. You will want a top coat to finish this off for longevity purposes only, and then 
Nothing in here is difficult to remove or dry textured. So there is three coats. The other Black Friday polish is ugly but interesting and this is a puke green with a copper shimmer and a scattered hollow. Here's our first coat of ugly but interesting and for everybody else's sake I really hope these are still available but again a good formula more of that jelly base so it is going to have to be built up but it is so worth it. This is absolutely gorgeous and these shimmers in these two polishes also shift to this reddy green look so the red and the green and the copper but there's two coats and then moving on to their Goonies duo again these individual one nail swatches because I'm not entirely sure of their availability but this is one-eyed Willie and this is a nude greeny base it's it's definitely like a nude base but it's got this green tint to it um, with a copper flash, a scattered hollow, and ultra chrome chameleon flakies. Here is our first coat of One-Eyed Willy and the base color of this is practically clear so this is another one that's going to have to be built up with three coats but again the formula is fantastic you get a ton of flakies out they all lie relatively smooth and across the board for all eight of these the holographic in these will all stand out much much better once the polish is dried you'll want a glossy or matte top coat for this one as well so there is three coats And then the other polish in the uh, Goonies duo is Truffle Shuffle, and this is a blackened base with a strong purple flash, a scattered hollow, and ultra chrome chameleon flakies. And here is our first coat of Truffle Shuffle, and this is in a jelly base, so this one's definitely going to have to be built up with three coats. The flakies in here are more sparse than any other flakies that we've looked at in this collection so far, or in this video so far, but the formula on this is good. This one dries down almost completely matte, so you'll want a glossy top coat if you don't like that, re or that finish, um, but this one is really beautiful built up on three coats, and the flakies that are in here are absolutely stunning against the black base. So there is three coats. So my favorite from the Wilds of Arizona collection is Snow Bowl. Uh, this is easily going to get me through all winter. Uh, this is so beautiful. The flakies, the formula, everything about this is perfection. Snow Bowl is my favorite from the Arizona collection. The uh, Goonies duo, One-Eyed Willie, is such perfection. I love this so much just absolutely beautiful and it screams rogue to me. I feel like they have a style and this one says rogue, which I really, really love. Um, but then from the Black Friday polishes, I can't pick one. They're so, the both of them are so perfect. Um, the Ugly But Interesting is one of those ugly pretty shades that I'm just for some reason naturally drawn to. But Unicorn Blood, in the bottle, it doesn't scream anything wild, uh, but like on the nails, it's crazy beautiful and I really really love this so if these are available they're the Black Friday polishes snag them um yeah but both of them are great and that is it let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of these polishes let me know if you plan on picking any of them up or if you've already picked them up and let me know what your favorite was give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and I will talk to you again next time